Alright, hi guys, welcome to the new Minecraft series. This intro section is just a special tribute I did for Smiley, so hopefully he's watching this video and he'll see his little surprise. Now, this new series is going to be called uh, something with Professor Jev on the end. Alright, now it's going to be like a diary entry sort of series. You'll get what I mean after we do Smiley's little tribute surprise and let's get straight into it. So, quickly write his name so it'll become Smiley's Mushroom Island or just Smiley's Island, depending on what he wants to call it really. And we're going to jump off the cliff here and get right into the new series. So, welcome and I hope you guys enjoy. Day one of the expedition. I find myself voyaging across the seas to a lonely island, the last of my team, the rest eaten by the monstrous creatures that inhabit this land. I climb upon a beachhead. My boat starts sailing away. There is nothing I can do. I am trapped here, alone, with limited supply, and nothing of the sorts that I am used to. I find myself on this island with many different creatures and new encounters. Firstly, this black and white spotted animal. Its noise goes moo. I have no idea what it is and what it gave me. Looks like steak. Hopefully, I'll be able to cook this steak somehow and eat it and eat the rest of these black and white spotted devils. There is no time to kill the rest. Nightfall shall soon be upon us, and I must take shelter somewhere on this mysterious island. I think a place near the beach would be safest, away from all the dense forest and unexplored pieces of land. I have only three pieces of wood left. I must do the best I can to conceal myself. And hopefully we've avoided the monstrous creatures that ate the rest of my exploration team. It's pitch black. But luckily, we have some supplies still left over from the last expedition. And my escape. No demons yet. A sign of relief that comes to the brow as I explore deeper into this island and the underground I find a cave somewhere where shelter may be taken not too lightly maybe these monstrous creatures are waiting for me underneath all the rubble and sand I enter cautiously clearing a pathway so I may view my entrance and the path ahead. The coast looks clear. I must seal up that doorway quickly before I find some creatures sneaking up upon me through the darkest depths of this cave. Two blocks should be sufficient. I think one more will be needed, just to be safe. Progress is going well. The wall is made. I have a small area of shelter that brings comfort to the mind as I lose my sanity on this island. Digging away at the walls, making my home my new home bigger and more spacious. I must cook and eat after this first journey or
shall I say, first steps onto the new island. My stomach begins to growl, and I grow hungry and tired of the meals I can no longer stomach. All this steak and pork chops for days without end. The diet never changing. One sacrificed an expedition, uh, like myself, must undergo. It is poor meals and not a lot of food. As I create a furnace using the stones I have mined and cleared out, I shall be able to cook these pork chops and steak. Steak, I wonder how that'll taste. Never had anything like it before. I am hoping it is edible and will not kill me as I try to devour it. As the steak's cooking, I find that I am able to create a bed using some string I harvested quickly off one of the monstrous creatures as they devoured my fellow expeditioner, Steve. Steve was a good man, a fine expeditioner if I do say so myself. Unlike me, Steve had blue long pants and a green t-shirt. Myself, I find myself being more of a classy expeditioner. I like a suit and a tie, and if so, a flower located on the right side shoulder pocket of my suit. I prefer the red rose, in fact, my flower of choice. As I've gone through the expedition in the last few days, I have not found any red roses at all. The one that is in my shoulder pocket is the last that I have ever encounter, at least for now, at least until I can escape this island. What is this? An achievement popped up. More tools? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, it saddens me. No one else is here to see the achievements that I unlock. Only myself in a deep cave far underground on an unexplored island. With not little time left before I have to end this recording, I shall store all my items in a thing I learnt to craft called a chest. It stores all my useless and unnecessary things until I may need them again someday soon. End day recording.